In this video, we're going to move on to looking at factorising, which is essentially the opposite of expanding out brackets. We're going to start off by looking at, at extracting common factors. Before we get into it, let's have a look at some terminology and get our heads straight on that first. Remember that the individual parts of a sum or a difference are called terms. On the other hand, the individual parts of a product or a quotient are called factors. When we multiply out brackets or products, in other words expanding, we produce a sum or a difference. To reverse this, we do what's called factorising. We factorise the sum or the difference to produce a product of factors. So factorising or factoring is essentially the opposite of expanding. In short, factorising turns a sum or a difference into a product. An example would be if we reverse the distributive law. So here's one here. If we start with ax plus ay, we can turn that into a multiplied by the sum of x plus y. You've probably seen this in reverse. It's the distributive law. Because if we go distribute a times x plus a times y, we get the left-hand side. So an example, x squared plus 4x, we can factor that into x outside of x plus 4. And that's because if we start with x times x plus 4, we can expand that to give x squared plus 4x using the distribution idea. So it works in reverse. In other words, we expand to get the sum, or we can turn the sum into a product by factorising it. Now one of the simplest forms of factorising, like we've done here, is called extracting a common number or factor or variable. Now we can always check these kind of factorizations by multiplying out the thing that we end up with and checking that it com how it compares with the original expression. They should be the same thing. Let's check out this example. We've got an expression here, 12x minus 36x squared. And what we're asked to do is first identify the common factors in the terms in the expression then write the terms as a product of the common factors and any other quantity that we need to make the terms that we've got. And then finally extract the common factors or factorize them out to write the product, the difference as a product. Give yourself a couple of minutes now to have a go at this yourself, following through the step-by-step -step process, and then come back and see how I've done it. Okay. So our expression is 12x minus 36x squared. It's a difference. And the terms in the difference are 12x and 36x squared. And the first thing we're asked to do is to identify the common factors in those terms. Now an easy one to see is that both of the terms have an x in them. So we can write that down first of all. But the other thing is they've got these numbers at the front, 12 and 36. Now 36 is just a multiple of 12, 3 times 12, so 12 is also a common factor in the two terms. Part B asks that we write the terms 12x and 36x squared as a product of the common factors and some other quantity. So this is just sort of uh, writing out what 12x is in terms of these factors and then 36x squared in terms of these factors. So 12x is easy, it is just 12 times x. Let's just put in there a placeholder for the moment, 12x times 1. Then we've got 36x squared. So remember I, th I said 36 was 3 times 12. And then we've got x squared. Well, that's x times x. We can pop a little times in there as well. So finally, we're going to extract the common factors. We can see them explicitly now and write the difference as a product. So we can see the common factors, 12 and x 12 and x. So we pull them out and then inside brackets or parentheses we write everything else that's left over. The 1 that we put in there and then minus 3 times x. So that's our factorised form of the original difference. You can see it's now written as a product of 12x and the, term, the factor in parentheses. If we want to check that just bust those brackets open again and you'll get 12x minus 36x squared again exactly the same thing as we started with. So that's our first factorising example. Let's check out another one. This one's a little bit harder. We've got the expression 6ab squared minus 3a squared b minus 9ab. Again we're asked to identify the common factors in the terms of the expression and then extract them and write the difference as a product. As usual if you want to stop now and have a go yourself do so and then come back and join me for the solution. Okay, the common factors that we've got up here, we can see that all of the terms have a factor of 3. 
So we can write that down first of all. They've also all got a's in them. Only a to the first power though. b is also appearing. Again, b to the first power appears in all three terms. So there are our common factors. Now we're asked to extract the common factors to write the difference as a product. You can do this the same way as the previous example if you like, or you can just get straight into it, which is what I'm going to do. And I'm going to say that we've got 3ab outside of, well I can see I'd need a 2, and another b. Then for the second term, it's going to be minus. We've already got the 3, we need another a, and we already have the b. Again, we need a minus. 3 times 3 would make 9, and a and b are already there. And we can check that again, like I was saying, by expanding out the brackets. And you should get the same result. OK, one final example where we're just going to go straight into it and factorise the expression. Again, you can go back to the original example in this, set of, in this video and follow through the full process there. Or you can just work with me here and follow it through straight into factorising. So I'll start off by writing down what we're given. And then I notice that each term has a factor of 7. They've also, also all got x's in them. Uh, y is in one of them, but not in the others. If you like, we can also pull out a minus, a minus 1 if you like, because there's a negative in each term. So we've got minus 7x outside of, for this term we'd need another x, so that when we expand we'd get minus 7x squared. This time it's a plus, not a minus, because I've already pulled that minus out the front. I've factored it out. Then we need a 4. 4 by 7 is 28. The x is already there. And we need a y. Finally, we've already factored out the minus. 5 by 7 is 35. The x is already out. And that's all we need. So again, if you like, you can distribute that out to check that you've got the right result. But that's our factorised or factored form right there. Okay, so that's it for this video. Um, in this video, we've, we've looked at revising the meaning of those words term, factor, and product and sum, remembering that they're, they're different and they've got different meanings and we can do different things with them. We introduced the idea of reversing expansion or multiplication, that's factorizing, and we've factorized a few example expressions to show you how it's done.